and weird stuff in a field? What's going on, Scoop? Simple. All this stuff's for the big line dancing contest tonight. Line dancing? What's that? Well, Lofty, it's square dancing, like the cowboys do. You wear cowboy clothes and dance in a line, like this. Take your partner by the hand. Take a step to the left and swing them round. Take a step to the right and do a jump and, um... Well, Bob, you're, um, pretty good. Thanks, Muck. I've been practicing. Mavis and I have entered the contest tonight. Really? Mavis from the post office? Yeah. We've been going to classes for weeks. Have a good time at the contest, Marjorie. Bye. Life's just not fair, is it, Pilchard? Take tonight, for example. I mean, some people will be dancing the night away, and other people will just be going home and watching TV again. Still, I shouldn't complain. Mavis and Bob have worked really hard, and they deserve to win. Testing, one, two. Testing, testing. testing. Good, that's all working. Oh, no, look at the time. I'm gonna have to leave you in charge, Scoop. I've gotta get home for a bit of last minute practice. No problem, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Yeah, I think so. Great. Now, where's Travis? He said he'd give me a ride. How'd it go again? That, um, line dance and stuff? Four, two, three, four, side, two, three, four. Thanks for the ride, Travis. It's all right, Bob. See you later. Do 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 do. I'll be singing that in my sleep. See it now. And the winners are Bob and Mavis. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bob? Huh? What? Phone. It's a uh, Mavis. Hello, Mavis. I've got a really good feeling about tonight. Huh? Oh, no. How did you do that? At the gym, on the treadmill. Oh, my. Well, it can't be helped. Okay, then. Bye. Oh, bad news? Couldn't be worse. Mavis has sprained her ankle. There's no way she can dance tonight. Oh, Bob, what a shame. Oh, Wendy, what can I do? I suppose I'll just have to pull out of the contest. Oh, no. Don't do anything hasty, Bob. I mean, well... Maybe, just possibly, you could find another partner. I don't know anyone else, Wendy. <clears throat> well, there's... there's always me. You? Really? Can you line dance? Well, I'm a fast learner, and I'd love to give it a try. You would? Yes. You're sure a fast learner. Oh, thank you, Bob. Oh, look at the time. We better get ready. Okay, I'll just run home to change, and I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Is it finished? Uh, I think so. Scoop? Yeah, let's go home. Hooray! <laughs> Wendy, 
You look lovely. You don't look so bad yourself, cowboy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you look funny. <laughs> hey, Wendy, you look great. Where are you going? Yeah, uh, where's Mavis? Mavis has hurt her ankle, so I'm taking her place. Well, we better get going or we'll be late. Wish us luck. Can they win it? Yes, yes they, they can! can. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Oh, I wish we could join in the contest. Yeah, sure is fun. Bob showed us how to do a few steps. Hey, I've got an idea. Okay, Pilchard, ready when you are. It'll soon be our turn, Wendy. I'm getting really nervous now. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Do you really think so? Sure do, partner. Thank you, Buffalo Bob and Western Wendy. Give a big round of applause then, folks. and Wendy will have finished by now? <laughs> I bet they're on their way home. I can't wait to find out if they've won. <laughs> Me too. Bob's pretty good, though, so you never know. Oh, I can't sleep. I'm too excited. There you go, Wendy. Oh, home sweet home. Thanks for a lovely evening, Bob. Why, thank you, ma'am. You surely were a great partner. <laughs> <laughs> well, so were you, Bob. Uh, uh, anyway, I'd better go in. See you in the morning. Good night, Bob. Um, good night, Wendy. Psst, Bob. Shh. Everyone's asleep. <laughs> Bob? Oh, well, I'm afraid that, um... We won! Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Wake up, Jess. Time for work. Oh, he's a sleepy boy this morning. Off we go, Jess. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. It's the school choir, Jess. Morning, Pat. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. The children are in good voice today. Pity the Pottage twins won't be there to join in. Oh, Katie and Tom poorly, then. They've both got a nasty bout of chicken pox. Poor things. Let's hope nobody else gets it. Morning, everybody. 
I could hear your choir singing from down in the village, Mr. Pringle. Thanks, Pat. They've all been working very hard, learning our new song. <gasps> Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle! Lucy's covered in spots! Uh, spots? <gasps> Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle! So is Bill Thompson! Huh? It looks like a case of Black River Fever to me! <gasps> Of course it's not Black River Fever, Sarah. It's probably chicken pox. Dr Gilbertson just told me that Tom and Katie Pottage have got it. Chicken pox is highly contagious. I think I should send the children home immediately. Hooray! I'll phone your parents and tell them to collect you right away. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Morning, Pat. Oh, thank goodness you haven't caught chicken pox. It's all over the village. Really? Oh, aye. The poor vicar's got it, and Jeff, and Charlie Pringle, and so has little Lucy Selby. Yes, Julian's come down with it now. He was pretty miserable when I left this morning. He said his chicken pox spots were itchy. Oh, that reminds me. Ajay's just phoned to say that the calamine lotion has arrived from Pencaster. Could you pick it up and drop it off at Dr Gilbertson's, please? Certainly, Mrs Goggins. It's very good for itchy spots. <laughs> Everybody in Greendale will be wanting a bottle. Come on, Jess. Looks like we've got lots to do today. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Pat. That'll be the last of the calamine lotion. Thanks, Ajay. Could you let Dr Gilbertson know that mare has got chicken pox? <laughs> Are her spots itchy too? Yes, and she's got a bad cold. Tell her we said get well soon. Meow. I will. Bye, Pat. Meow. Bye, Jess. Bye, Ajay. Meow. Oh, dear, Sarah. You've got it as well. Morning, Pat. Yes, she woke up this morning covered in spots. <sighs> Poor you. Here's the calamine lotion you ordered, Dr Gilbertson. Oh, thanks, Pat. I should deliver them right away, but I really need to keep an eye on Sarah. Would you mind dropping them off for me? No problem, Doctor. Ah, the vicar will need a bottle, and Jeff Pringle and Charlie. Oh, and Bill Thompson, too. And Mira. Ajay says she's very itchy. Oh, dear. Yes, she'd better have one. Could you also take a packet of salt to the vicar for me? No problem. The vicar's my next call. Why does the vicar want salt? To gargle with. Gargle? With salt? You mix it with water. It's very good for sore throats. Can you gargle, Sarah? I'm a brilliant gargler. <laughs> Goodness me. But you have to be careful not to swallow it or you'll be sick. That's enough, Sarah. Thanks, Pat. Tell everybody to rub calabad lotion onto their spots and gargle with salt water if they've got a sore throat. <laughs> I'll be sure to pass on your good advice, Dr Sarah. There's the vicar's letter and a parcel and a bottle of calamine lotion from the doctor. Meow. What is it, Jess? Ah, the salt. <laughs> Clever lad. Thank you very much. Morning, Reverend. How are you feeling? <coughs> Terrible, Pat. Well, these should help you. Calamine lotion and salt from the doctor. God bless her. How kind. <coughs> Can't stop, Reverend. I've got to call in and see Jeff and Charlie Pringle. They're poorly, too. Oh, Pat. 
Would you give them something from me? Uh, certainly, Reverend. A gardening magazine for Jeff and a comic to cheer up little Charlie. <laughs> oh, and I have a message from Sarah Gilbertson. Don't forget to gargle. I won't, Pat. <coughs> <coughs> That's from the doctor. And the Reverend sent this. Oh! How to grow sweet? Don't book a cheap hotel. Sweet peas. Ooh. <coughs> Whoops. <laughs> I've got it wrong. <laughs> there you go. Yeah! Zap Zero, my hero. That's more like it. Jess has got a much better memory than me. <laughs> Bye, you two. Drink lots of water and Sarah Gilbertson says, don't forget to gargle. Feeling, Bill? Bored. I want to play football. Oh, you won't be doing that for a few more days, love. Thanks for the calamine lotion, Pat. We really need it. I've got one more bottle to drop off at Mira's. Oh, could you give Nisha something from me, please? Of course, Dorothy. It's a hot water bottle to keep Mira warm while she's got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. It's not real. Oh, by the way, Bill, Sarah Gilbertson says don't forget to gargle. That's just what the... Jess! <coughs> oh, thanks for reminding me, Jess. <coughs> I nearly forgot. Dorothy Thompson sent this to keep you warm, Mira. Thank you, Pat. You're very welcome. <sighs> <sighs> You look worn out. It's been a very busy day. <coughs> and I've got a bit of a sore throat. You should go home and gargle, Pat. That's exactly what Sarah Gilbertson says. Don't forget to gargle. <laughs> Soon be home now, Jess. <coughs> ah. <laughs> Sounds like they've all taken Sarah Gilbertson's good advice. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Julian. How are you feeling? Much better. I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> oh, my goodness, Pat. You've got chicken pox. Dad, Mrs. Goggins said you've got to drink lots of her black currant cordial and rub calamine lotion onto your itchy spots. Thank you. You're a very good doctor. Come on, Julian, you mustn't be late for school. You looking forward to seeing all your friends again? Oh, yeah. Bye, Dad. See you later, love. Bye. <coughs> Hello, Julian. Hello, 
Are you all better? I'm fine, but now my dad's got chicken pox. He's really fed up. Poor Pat. He worked so hard taking care of us all while we were ill. He bought me a comic. And he bought me a hot water bottle. And he bought me a bottle of cum... 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 lotion. He made us all feel better. Uh, Mr Prinkle, Mr Prinkle, I know. Why don't we do something for Pat? Yeah! yeah! Oh, dear Jess. It's a bit lonely here on our own. <laughs> what on earth? In Greendale, if you're under the weather, there's someone you're glad to see. He brings help to you and me. Everybody, three pictures for postman. Let's say hey, 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 hooray. We're glad you are here today. Greendale, Greendale, what a place to be. <laughs> That's champion. Good morning, Pat. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, look, Pat. This parcel's addressed to you. Oh, good. It's arrived. What is it? It's the brand new video camera I've been waiting for. Oh! <laughs> wow. I wonder how it works. These instructions might help. Pardon? Oh, oh, oh yes. Hmm. Come on, Mrs. Goggins. Smile for the camera. Oh, oh no, Pat. <laughs> you don't want to film silly old me. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you make a video diary of Greendale? What a good idea. Maybe I could show the film at the school hall. Oh, yes. I'm sure people would love to come. Great. I can film it on my rounds. Well, I've got a busy day ahead of me, so I'd best be getting on. Come on, Jess. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Pat. Oh, wait. Oh. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, of course. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio. Now then, how do I switch this thing off? Good morning, Pat. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, morning, Dr. Gilbertson. <laughs> oh, dear. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, oh, I, I didn't see you there. Um, I've just seen Pat with a video camera. What's he doing? He's making a video diary of Greendale to show at the school hall. <sighs> you know, when I was a lassie, I always fancied being in the movies. Really? Uh-huh. In one of those musicals. Oh! I, I was quite a dancer in those days, you know. Do you like dancing, Dr. Gilbertson? Oh, no, not me. I haven't got time for all that dancing around. And who would I dance with? I... I wonder if the Reverend Timms would like to be in my video. Hmm. Do you think this light means the camera is on or off, Jess? Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, never mind. I'll sort it out later. Ooh, a spot of music. That's just what my video needs. Hello, Reverend. Would you mind if I recorded you for my video diary of Greendale? Not at all, Pat. I I'd be honoured. <coughs> and camera rolling. Reverend Tim's take one. Eyes and teeth, Reverend. 
Eyes and teeth? Uh, pardon? Oh, uh, <laughs> smile, please, Reverend. Oh, I see. <sighs> Aren't you delivering the post today, Pat? Oh, oh, of course, the post. Sorry, Reverend. I was so carried away with my video, I forgot all about it. <laughs> um. <sighs> ah, here we are. Here you are, Reverend. Thank you, Pat. Uh, are you all right? Um, yes, I'm fine. Uh, it's hard work playing the piano. Well, you'd better have a rest if you're going to make it to my video show down at the school hall. Oh, oh yes. Thank you, Pat. Cheerio, Reverend. Goodbye, Pat. Ooh, I'll have to put this down for a minute. Oh no! I've posted the instruction manual too. I can't finish my video diary without that. Hello? Dr. Gilbertson, is there anyone in? Oh, oh, hello, Pat. Sorry to bother you, Dr. Gilbertson, but I posted the instruction manual for my video camera by mistake. Oh, um, there you go, Pat. Thank you. Would, would you like to be in my video, Dr. Gilbertson? Uh, no, sorry, Pat. I, I'm, I'm very busy today. I was, um, um, I was just giving the surgery a quick clean. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Cheerio. Goodbye, Pat. Hello there, Pat. Is that a video camera? Yes, I, I'm recording a video diary of Greendale. Uh, would you like to be in it? Oh, yes. And we've got the Greendale rocket all nice and clean. You'll want her on your video, won't you? Yeah. Hey, parents, over here. Let yes, what a good idea. How does that thing work? That's what I've been trying to find out. There. That should do it. Um, is it recording? Yes. Make sure you get the rocket's best side, Pat. Here, can I have a go? Um, yes. Hey, oh. I say, wait, watch out, Ted. Oops. Oh, sorry, Pat. I'll help you pick them up. Oh, dear. Quick, Jess. Catch that letter. What on earth has happened to you two? Nothing. Not at all. Uh, were you filming just then? No. But I can film you some more if you'd like. Uh, no thanks, Pat. Yeah, we're, we're a bit mucky. Oh well, okay then. Cheerio. Cheerio, Bye, Pat. Oh, dear, Jess. Nobody wants me to film them. My video diary of Greendale isn't going to be very long, is it? Mm. Hello, Sarah. Hello, love. Hello, Nisha. Morning, Pat. Cup of tea, please. Oh, uh, and one of those lovely cream cakes. Coming right up. Oh, I see the camera arrived. Yes. Oh, what's wrong? Well, I'm trying to record a video diary of Greendale, but hardly anyone wants to be in it. People are acting very strangely today. Really? 
There you go, Pat. Thank you. You can film us if you like. Yes, you can record us icing these cakes. What a good idea. Okay. And action. Um, what does that mean? That means you can start icing now. Oh, oh, I see. Why don't you tell me how you do it? Oh, uh, <clears throat> when you ice a cake, you need to be very careful. And uh, make sure you take your time. What should I say now? I don't know. <coughs> Jess, that was my cake. <coughs> I'd better clean that up. What's happened here? Uh, nothing, nothing. But where did the cakes go? The, the fridge. The, the cupboard. Fridge. What a strange day this is, eh, Jess? Yeah. Oh, well, I'd better be going. I'll see you both tonight at the video show. Bye, Pat. I love. So, um... Who's in the film, then? Well, I was the first person pet filmed. And I've provided the music, of course. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to see my video diary of Greendale. I haven't had a chance to watch it back myself, but I hope you all enjoy it. I don't remember that bit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry, Reverend. Wow, you rock, Reverend. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> 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 Where on earth is that? I certainly don't remember filming this. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Well, I'd never. Oh, oh, I am sorry, Dr. Gilbertson. Uh, I must have forgotten to switch the camera off. I didn't know you could dance. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Here, can I have uh, a go? Yes. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> You're so funny, Dad. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, how embarrassing. Oh dear. I am sorry, love. <laughs> I suppose we do look pretty funny. <laughs> yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. This isn't quite what I expected. <laughs> no, it's better! <laughs> sorry? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Hear, hear! <laughs> Who would have thought we all had such <laughs> hidden talent? Oh, dear! <laughs> Next stop, Hollywood! <laughs> You mean you liked it? Yes, Dad. You're the best director ever. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done. Oh. 
All right, Bob. You, Muck, and Rolly are working on the new section of road. And I'm taking along the line marking machine for them. That's right, Travis. Then we can paint a nice line down the middle to finish everything off. So, if everyone's ready, let's go! Can they fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Rolly, I want this road surface nice and flat. Okay, I'm rolling! <laughs> Muck, you can help me unload the line marking machine. Okay, Bob. Now, we need to fill up the line marking machine with a special white paint. Okay, as soon as Rolly's finished, we'll paint the white lines. Ooh, this looks like fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. What can I do for you? Oh, oh my. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll drop by quickly now. It won't take very long to fix that. No, it's no problem. See you soon. Bye. Come on, Muck. We need to go over to Mrs. Potts to do a quick repair job. Jump on, Bob. Back in a jiffy. All right, Bob. I'll be here. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. <laughs> hey, Travis! Travis! Oh, there you are! Farmer Pickles wants you down at the pond. He says it's very urgent. Ooh, I better get going. See you, Rolly. Get you later, Travis. <laughs> That's strange. Where's Travis going in such a hurry? Oh my. Oh my, I'd better call Bob. Someone's got to stop Travis. Rolly! Rolly! Uh, Hollow that tractor! Uh, uh, I'm trying! I'm trying! Bob's building yard. Oh, hello, Farmer Pickles. Oh, no. White paint? Everywhere? Oh, now don't worry. I'll tell Bob right away. Thanks. Yes, you bye. There you go, Mrs. Potts. Your fence is fixed. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Bob. I was so worried my dog would get out, you know. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Potts. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Wendy. The line marking machine? On the back of Travis? White lines everywhere? Oh, my. We're on our way, Wendy. Don't worry. Golly, Mrs. Potts, gotta go. We have an emergency. Oh, of course. Thank you, Bob. Bye. We've got to stop Travis before he paints the whole town white! Travis! Travis! Don't go so fast! Oh, oh, I'm really tired out. Come on, 
Yeah, Mark, speed up! Oh, I'm already in top gear, and I'm going as quick as I can! Look at this mess! Ooh, it wasn't my fault, Bob. I didn't know the line marking machine was hooked onto me. I thought it was my trailer. I don't know how it got there. Honest. <laughs> I tried to stop him, Bob, but he was in such a hurry. <laughs> Spud said Farmer Pickles needed me at the pond right away. <laughs> hmm. Did he now? Spud? Spud? Come out of there now! All right, Spud. What do you know about all of this? Um, uh, oh, me? N nothing. So who hooked the lie marking machine onto Travis, then? Um, oh, oh, it was me, Bob. I was just having fun. I didn't mean any harm, you know. Well, I think you've got some cleaning up to do. Isn't that right, Bob? That's right, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Bob. Spud's on the job, Bob. Oh, my knees hurt. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Spud. You'll just have to keep scrubbing until you've cleaned it all up. All right, everyone else, let's go home! Hooray! Bye, Spud! Bye. <laughs> You're back. Did you find Travis? Yeah, yeah. What's happened? Tell us. Come on, come on. Oh, well, um, it, well, uh... It Spud, Wendy, and, 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 and the line marking machine, and then... And, and Bob was telling me to go faster, yeah, and, and I was getting faster, really, really and, and tired. And I was trying to, to go chase around the corner, and, and, really and my wheels were like, oh, no, how we got him in the road. And Whoa, was... one at a time. <laughs> oh, how cool. <laughs> I wish I'd been there to see all the fun and mess and everything. <laughs> 